This shark video is going to be about how to get into the cavities, the pharyngeal cavity and the peritoneal cavity. So to get into the pharyngeal cavity, what you have to do is actually cut through the jaw as close to the jaw joint as you can and then actually bisect the, this row of gill arches. Then cut through the pelvic or the or the pectoral girdle, excuse me, which is homologous with our shoulder girdle. You actually have to cut through that and then kind of take a line that's to the midline and then angling a little bit posterior so you miss the heart because the heart is actually sitting right here. Then you can just cut all the way through the body wall. Um, you're going to hit a little impediment here at the puboischiac bar, which is homologous to our pelvic girdle, and then all the way down to the cloaca. And then when you do that, what that allows you to do, okay, is pull back the body wall, and then I like to pull back the body wall, pull back the body wall, okay, and then we're actually looking then into the peritoneal cavity, which is bounded on the posterior end by the pelvis and on the anterior end by this structure here called the transverse septum. The transverse septum is damaged here by this, okay, opening, which takes us into the oral cavity and the pharynx, and so we'll have a look there later. So that's how we open it up, and now we can start touring around the internal anatomy of the shark.